No excuses. I don't want to bring out this hashtag because it's one of my most powerful hashtags. I've thought about hundreds of, of hashtags that I've used many times before. And I felt that it was apt that such a powerful hashtag was used only for the World Cup. So when people said, okay, no, bring back the no excuses thing for the Champions League, I said, no, I can't do that because I don't feel that the um, the importance or the gravity is the same as, as the World Cup. But I've changed. And as a man, the measure of a man is shown by your ability to change and be open for, for change. That shows the true ability and the measure of, of a true man. And I feel that for this game in particular, maybe for, for some subsequent games going forward, no excuses is needed. This game in particular, the no excuses hashtag shall be greenlit. I have signed the, the, the papers. I have agreed to everything. I made the phone calls. The no excuses hashtag is officially alive for this match. Um, there's a career on, on the line here. There, there's a career on the line. Before I get to the guys whose career is on the line, I want to just talk, talk about this game right now. Bayern Munich are a big team. One of the biggest teams in the world, massive, huge club. And I just think that anybody in football, you've got to respect what the Munich boys do. You can always respect them. Whether they are down, whether they are playing badly, in every single game, you must respect the badge. Respect the badge. It's, it's, one, of, it's one of the best run clubs in the world. Huge club, massive club. But there is the badge, the history of the badge, and there's what happens on the pitch. And what happens on the pitch is when that referee blows that flipping whistle. And I just believe that um, the banning that I've been seeing, these guys could, could get caught open. Keyword could. That's the keyword. They could get caught open. This team is slow. They need a revamp. They have labored to victories. They have not really looked sexy or smooth enough. And the matchup with how Liverpool can play and how they can attack and the speed in which they can swift the ball around at the field of Anne could be lights out. It could be lights out. That's the key word. Like, guys, I need you to be very careful when you're listening to this flipping thing. And I hope, I hope you have a meal. Could. No excuses. Um... For Liverpool, uh, I always said that it was a bad move them for going the FA Cup. You have to go into every single competition to win. The whole notion of like, okay, if we just focus on one competition, we have a great chance of winning it. Nah, man, that's that's bull crap. It, the, the best way to win the Premier League is you go, you are going into every single competition, every single game, trying to win every single game that you're in. That's how you ride. So that's, that's how you're right. It's, it's, it's as simple as three cracks. This is a game in which Liverpool could pretty much seal the deal in the first leg. If Klopp takes it back to that whole guy again press, the speed, the attacking, the movement, the relentlessness, the high press, the excessive press, the quickness of the ball, the great, amazing interchange and use of space through, through the, the front three, they could cut by an open. Keyword could cut them open. Um, so for Klopp and for Liverpool, you're the Champions League finalists. You are the Champions League finalists. There is a trophy that can be won here. Let's just be real. If Liverpool are on their game, they do their thing, this is a competition in which almost anybody can win. I cannot remember the last time that there was a Champions League competition that was this open. Okay, almost every single year there's always been that one team that's like, yeah, this is the strongest team. This is the team that that's most likely. Anybody can eat. It's keyword. Anybody can eat in this flipping Champions League. Quote my your boy Shea Sharif, man. Anybody can eat. Anybody can chop in this flipping Champions League. So, I want to talk about no excuses. But before I get into tactics, I want to talk about no excuses. Robert Lewandowski. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I've taken a lot of insults for you. I've been called a fraud. My credibility as the best football analyst on the planet has been questioned. 
and I have been abused because I've defended you numerous times. You gotta show up. Lewandowski, your career is on the line. Let me put it to you in plain English in case you're a bit confused. If you don't show up in this game, you're done. Let me repeat myself. <laughs> Robert Jeremiah Lewandowski, aka the Polish Nick, because I've, I've taken that nickname away from me because you've not lived up to that nickname. If you do not show up in this game with no Van Dyke, I'll get to it tactically. You're done. And I'll induct you. So people, I put it on record. You can put your stuff out there and everything around me because the Brick Academy does not discriminate. I repeat, the Brick Academy, I don't own the Brick Academy. I don't run the rules in Brick Academy. They are higher powers. There's a, there's a council of about 200 guys that run this whole thing. So I save them. Okay? And they keep telling me that, oh, Double H, I don't, I don't, we really don't care who you are. We actually don't like you. Double H, the Brick Academy does not discriminate. Anybody can be inducted. This is crazy. That's why it's, it's one of the craziest academies I've ever seen in my life. It's, it's crazy. Anybody can be inducted. So, no excuses. I don't want to hear any excuses of this, that, that, this. If you don't show up in this game and you don't pull through and seal the freaking deal, you're going to get inducted. Let's talk tactics. Let's start with the home side, Liverpool. Liverpool have got to play a very fast, quick, direct game. If they have studied Bayern, a lot of teams now Bayern have played in the Bundesliga, the way that they've gotten goals are through quick, direct counter-attacks. Two, three passes, ball over the top. Sula and Hummels have struggled against that. Because Sula and Hummels, they are good defenders. Let's just, let's just let's be real. They are good defenders. They are very physical. They can read the game well. But I believe they struggle with pace and speed. They don't have the mobility of a Varane or of a Sergio Ramos or even um, the swift movements of a Van Der Dijk, who is actually, is actually pretty quick. They lack that. And I feel that Hummels' defensive quality and reading on the game has depreciated in the last few years. Hummels in 2014 amongst one of the best defenders in the world. Let's not even talk about your boy Boateng. Schuller is still a guy still learning his trade. So if Liverpool play a quick, fast game, they could get that ass. The key thing is Van Dijk missing. As guys have said, it's risky. It's risky. Fabinho and Matip in defense. That's what I've heard. Okay, I've heard on three grapevines that we're rolling with a... Um, what's, what's it called? Well, we're rolling with a Fabinho and a... Matip Central Defensive Partnership because Lovren is a risk. First of all, Lovren is a brick. He's essentially a brick. He can be good, but he's essentially a brick. So to put a brick in a game of this magnitude alongside Matip, who isn't defendable but can be shaky, you're asking for, for trouble. You're asking for, for, for trouble. Against a side like Bayern Munich, who, remember the thing about Bayern Munich and what Liverpool have to be aware is that, and, and as the have shown this season, they can play badly and still G up. That's the thing. They can play badly, be outplayed, lose possession, hardly be in the game, and they can still G up. So you can never be caught slipping with these guys because Bayern Munich, no matter what they are, they've got that winning gene. Got the winning gene. So, I mean, how many games has Firmino played at central defence? I mean, I mean I've, I've, I've got to be, be real with you. I think that is where Liverpool's weakness will be. So I think the most important is how hard the Liverpool midfield work. They have to protect that to, to defence. They have to offer protection. And they've got to make sure that they, you do not have Matip or your boy Fabinho in isolated situations where they could be caught out of posi position because trust me, Kovac and people, science, scientists, they would have done the research and say, let's get at those boys. There's no Van Dyke. They have to reshuffle defensively. Let's go for them. 
because Bayern are coming from, from the away jet. I, I don't know whether you've, you've not heard they're coming from, from the away jet, but for Liverpool, high intensity, win the ball early, don't allow Bayern to get into key situations, never fall asleep. That's the key thing. Liverpool will have possession of the ball. Liverpool will dominate the game. Liverpool will set the tempo. But the danger of setting the tempo is that you can fall asleep. But like, hey man, having possession is all good. The, the, the goal is going to come out of nowhere. Quick set speed and lose the ball. Boom, you're 1-0 down. And that's what this boys band can do. So Liverpool must not ever fall asleep. But they have to try and go two goals up by by minute 15. I want 2-0. Two, two so it has to be two zip. It has to be two zip by minute 15. Let, let's just look at Bayern. I'm hearing the... Rip is gonna start. Before I get to the rip, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna. Guy, I, I told you this, this is my time, so I can say whatever they there. I want to say it's my bloody channel. Um, I need Robin out there. Yeah, I know he's injured. I've heard, I've, I've heard he's injured. If 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 Robin can make his way onto the pitch, I'll I'll, I'll cry. I'll, I'll, I will cry. I will shed th t -t two tears. Um, this is Robin's final season. In case you were not aware. And this being Robin's final season, I need him to have one last hurrah. That's the first thing, thing to do. He's a, he's a potential goat. He's a potential goat. So for a potential goat, we need to actually respect what this guy has done. So um, I need Robin on that pitch. I know he's injured. Something needs to be done. So please, I'm just putting it out in the ether. Can we get Robin on that pitch to please feature? I, I need him. I need Robin in these two legs. Please, I, I need him. I need him. I need him in there. Because he needs to show. But we're hearing Rib. We're, we're hearing the Rib's going to be in there. Um, and the thing about, about the Rib is that, despite his age, <laughs> the Rib can still deliver. The Rib can still deliver. Because the thing about the Rib is that, the Rib doesn't rely on... His speed or everything. He's again one of the best two-footed players that, of his generation. And he just does the things right. He is a very dependable, consistent player. And the rib will be very important in Bayern trying to engineer a breakaway to try and get a G. You know, because Bayern will say, look man, Palace got three Gs against his boys. We can get a G somehow, some, some, some way, hopefully. Um... But I think with Bayern, you've also got the importance of James Rodriguez. He's going to, going to be key. His playmaking, his creativity, and his passing is going to be crucial. Because if him and Thiago can form it... Because... Let, 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 let's be real now. Let's be real. The best midfielders in this game are going to be Thiago and James. Respect Wijnaldum. Respect... Respect... Shakiri, Thiago, I, I, I respect them, but I think even they will admit that now. Nah. <laughs> Alcantara and James are, are those dudes. Are they, they're going to be those dudes. So if James and Alcantara can ride, can think and theorize and control that midfield, Ban could, could get some 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 cheddar. So guys, I've talked, I've preached. Okay. Um, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need a skull, la, 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 la. Um. Because someone said this, I think someone said this on the, um, on, on the hangouts. I think it, it was red. A Bundesliga going to take three L's. Dortmund took an L. Schalke are going to get theorized. They, 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 they are going to get Fallopian tube by Man City. So let's just put that to one side. So Abayn are going to get... Abayn going to complete the 3L um, reconstruction. It's bad. It does, it's not a good look for the league, but I've, I've, I've got to be real. Because I've studied it, looked at it tactically and so forth. And as a professional analyst, best in the world, um, I've, I've, I've got to be real with you. Because that's what you guys pay for. That's what you guys subscribe for. You subscribe for me giving you that real. You subscribe for me giving you that real. And due to my analysis, 3-1. 3-1. Um, Liverpool win this game 3-1. Bayern will get an away goal. I don't see Bayern getting two away goals. I see them getting an away goal. They will get it. And I think Goretzka is going to get there. Jeez, so... I mean, Lewandowski, you, you, you've got, you, 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 have, you have to score. <laughs> Either you score or you have an incredible, amazing game. But you really have, have to score. But I think Goretzka is going to get the G. But I just... I just think that Liverpool's way of playing, them playing at some, it's a recipe for disaster against Ban. And I've been looking at how Ban have been playing, how they've been struggling, and how have they been operating in the games in the Bundesliga. 
Noya, you're my guy. You're still the godfather. You're, you're still you're still going to retire as the goat. You're a potential horseman, but I think you're, you're going to have to hold this L. Okay, I've, I've done my tactics. I've done my... Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we're going to ride with a 3-1. Whatever the case may be, it's going to be a lovely game. And you know where to come back after this. Stay true. Stay real. And most importantly of all, stay black. Thanks for watching the video. Now think about becoming a football hot patron by pledging an amount each month and then gain access to exclusive content only on the Football Hot Patron page. Peace. Head over to the official sites at halffootballhot.com or just click over here.